My little sister is one of the most influential people that I've had in my life. Her name is Valentina because she was born on Valentine's Day, but we call her Nina for short. Nina is 10 years old and she attends Seton Catholic School as a fifth grader. She plays basketball, volleyball, and cheers. Last year, she was homeschooled because of COVID. Before COVID, she used to take acting classes and was actually in a play. She's a procrastinator, but she always gets her work done, so she definitely takes after me. Nina is the youngest sibling of us three, so she's the baby of the family. When I was little, I used to pray every night that I'd get, be gifted a baby sister, but my parents would laugh at me because due to medical conditions, the doctor said my mom wouldn't be able to have another baby. So Nina's a miracle. She has a very strong relationship with God and tries to pray to him when she can. She not only will pray when she needs help, but she prays to God to thank, for what, thank him for what she has. Nina has the biggest mouth out of everyone that I know, but also the biggest heart. My sister puts other people's needs and wants before her own, including mine. She sticks up for her friends and is loyal, and she makes sure other people around her are comfortable and doing okay. When I am having a bad day or I'm not feeling well, she brings me medicine and lays with me. When I get anxious before I go to bed, she comes into my room and she sleeps with me. She always has my back and defends me no matter what. I have taken care of her as her older sister for most of her life, but the past few years since COVID, she's actually been the one to take care of me. When COVID started and quarantine hit, I suffered from co crippling anxiety and depression and couldn't get out of bed all day. I started to lose a lot of weight. And when she found out I was struggling that I couldn't even get out of bed to eat, she would make me breakfast and she'd bring it to me. She would be the one to check up on me and come in my room and try to entertain me. She would try to get me out of bed and would play video games with me or chit chat. She would do anything to try and make me feel better for even a second. She was the one who was actually concerned about me. And to this day, when I suffer from my anxiety attacks or I'm having a rough time, she's the one who makes sure that I'm okay. She knows how hard the past few years have been for me, and she's the reason I pushed through my struggles. And she made me feel loved and cared about when I felt alone and like I had nobody else. Though she can't really understand the struggles with mental health, she understands it's not always easy to navigate, and she gave me hope. She is the most thoughtful person that I know. When we were in Florida, Nina gave me a massage and a spa night because she wanted to and because she knew I was in pain. A few weeks ago, I texted her that I didn't feel very good at school and she thought I was coming home, so she set up Advil tea and a blanket waiting for me to come to. When I would do something to make her mad, she would tattle on me, but as soon as my mom would get mad at me, she would say that she was kidding because she didn't want me to get in trouble. Anytime that my mom would say that I had an attitude, Nina would jump in and say, don't talk about my sister. Nina even took her credits from Amazon and bought me things that she thought I would like, or she sends lists of things that my mom to my mom that she knows that I want. When I turned 18, she made me the most thoughtful and biggest birthday card I have ever seen. She hated my ex-boyfriend because of how much he would make me cry and hurt my feelings. So she's pretty overprotective because she literally wanted to kick him in the head. She gets jealous whenever I spend one moment of time with my cousins because she doesn't want to share me. When I lied to my parents where I was at, Nina refused to tell them and snitch on me when they asked where I was. In conclusion, my sister is my role model even though she's younger and we look out for each other and are each other's best friends. We fight and argue a lot, but it doesn't change how either of us feel about each other. She makes me want to be better because she looks up to me. She makes me want to be to have a better relationship with God by watching her navigate with her faith. She looks out for everyone and makes everyone feel important. She is the most loving person that I know, and though she is young and can't understand much about what being a teenager is like, she definitely tries and understands it's not easy and listens to me rant or cry. When she gets walked over for having a good heart, she never gets angry. She continues on and doesn't change who she is no matter who hurts her. She leads a life of faith and love, which is so rare for how young she is. Nina is kind, loving, empathetic, caring, beautiful, and smart. Sis, thank you for everything you do for me. It doesn't go unnoticed. However, please stop stealing my clothes and wearing them because that doesn't go unnoticed either. I love you and being able to watch you grow is such a pleasure. I'm beyond proud of you.